Hello, this is Nathan Seidel, the founder of SparkFun Electronics, here to give you a demonstration and some information about uh, one of our more powerful RTK high precision GPS products, the RTK Mosaic. This is a kit that we've been offering for a while now, but we wanted to demonstrate the compatibility of our device on some new exciting services on the internet today. There's a few of these services out there. The main one we're gonna talk about today is Onacoin. So this is a company that uh, uses blockchain and cryptocurrencies to sort of reward base stations uh, that contribute to the overall stitched together crowdsourced corrections network. While I am not a fan of cryptocurrency, I don't believe in anything that I cannot turn into beer and drink. However, there are plenty of folks out there that do really enjoy cryptocurrencies, so take everything I say with a grain of salt, but in terms of companies out there doing a crowdsourced uh, corrections network, I'm really very impressed with Onacoy and what they're doing. And if cryptocurrency, or at least the reward system, is the incentive that folks need to keep their corrections and base stations up and running, I'm for it. The first step to getting your RTK Mosaic onto the Onacoy network is, first of all, get the product, get it set up. You'll need to uh, permanently install an antenna on the outside of your structure with a very clear view of the sky. We currently have some antennas up on the roof of SparkFun, and we have a nice long SMA cable coming through the window down the way to our base station. Uh, we've got this connected over Ethernet and uh, connected to power. Uh, just a reminder that this is capable of doing power over Ethernet. SparkFun just doesn't have PoE, and so to do an install at your own location, makes it a little easier. You just need Ethernet and PoE and then that connection to the antenna. Next step is configuring the incredibly powerful mosaic to receive every signal it can and provide that to Onacoy so that we can get the largest reward. I'm going to walk you through that. So um, step one is uh, we have a display here showing an IP address. In this case it's 10.7.15.31. We're going to hit that and now we can get into the configuration system of the mosaic over Ethernet. I'm connected over Wi-Fi but we're going in over Ethernet. Specifically, we need to first enable the monitoring of all constellations and all signals. The first thing we're going to do is go into Expert Control, and it's going to warn you that there's some settings that it's a more advanced interface, and so just be warned that there are some uh, knobs and dials that can be configured that can do bad things, but in this case, we're going to get straight to Navigation, Advanced User Settings, and then Tracking, and specifically Satellite Tracking. So once we get in here, we want to be sure that we have everything checked, including GPS, GLONASS, Galileos, SBAS, Baidu, QVSS, and NAVIC. The Mosaic is really a powerful GNSS receiver and has the ability to track all the constellations. Uh, in addition, we want to be sure that um, all the signals are turned on. So by default, some of the signals are disabled, namely L5 for the GPS constellation. Um, that's because it's still technically uh, considered an unhealthy signal. In this case, we want to go ahead and tell the system that no, really, we want every single signal on every single constellation coming in. And we say OK to apply those changes. And then it says, are you sure? Yes, we are. All right, next step is connecting your RTK Mosaic to the Onacoy uh, Corrections Network. We are going to go, it's as simple as an NTRIP connection. We're going to create a new NTRIP client. And in this case, it's going to be uh, on a... Um, um, you need a username and password. The username is provided by the Onacoy system, and then as well as the password and mount point. The next thing we need to do is tell what sort of messages or corrections to send to Onacoy. In this case, we're going to set up a new RTCM3 output, and we're going to send it to an uh, NTRIP server. Finally, we're going to give it our mount point. This NTRIP version is compatible with V2, so that's all good. Finally, uh, to set up this NTRIP corrections connection to the Onacoy service, we need to give it the messages that um, Onacoy is expecting. In this case, we don't want MSM4, uh, we want MSM7. We don't want all the messages, we just want um, 1077, 1087, 1097, 1097. 1117, 1127, 1137. This is all on the Onacoy website, uh, but for um, the video, we'll show you how we set it up. 
Once finished, we click on OK. And in a few moments here, we should see a connection. We see a green light connected to the Onacoy servers. Now this is our chance. Uh, for those of you that may want to broadcast your own corrections, so let's say Onacoy is great, blockchain is fine, but we still want to be able to get our own corrections from our own base station. If that's the case, we can set up another NTRIP connection to a free caster service such as rtk to go So I'll demonstrate that real quick. We'll add that to the list, and then we'll, we will be broadcasting simultaneously to Onacoy and rtk to go to demonstrate this, we'll create a new NTRIP connection to the RTK to go servers. Go to the connections output, lead page, new RTCM3 output. For the case of RTK to go, uh, the NTRIP version needs to be version 1, uh, but your mount point and your password are provided by RTK to go whenever you register your base, and uh, no username is required. In this case, we will, we will be broadcasting the standard MSM4 messages, as well as uh, 1005 and 1006, and everything else is fine. Let's finish up. Click OK to apply. And here we can see a dual connection between Onacoy and rtk to go Our corrections being generated are being sent to those two caster services in the case of rtk to go Any rover nearby can listen to those. In the case of Onacoy, those corrections are being sort of amassed into um, their system so that any one rover across their coverage map can subscribe to the different sources and receive those corrections and you the base owner uh, get incentivized or, or rewarded with their own cryptocurrency called ONOs. Now that we've got the RTK Mosaic station connected up to Onacoy, we can have a look at what the data looks like on their website. One of the benefits of having a connection to Onacoy or a service like it is really it's a free monitoring service. So once we start uh, broadcasting our correction data to their service, we can go into their website. Uh, in this case, this is the sort of gold standard SparkFun reference station to show you the performance of the RTK Mosaic on the Onacoy system. And we can see the connection history. We can see when it was up, when it was down. Um, they have some really nice tools to show you the various bands and frequencies that your station is receiving receiving and then passing corrections to their service. That'll increase your rewards and increase the amount that you can earn in any given day. Their website is a really nice troubleshooting tool to show you how your station is performing over time. Right now, Onacoy's coin Ono is still in its beta phase, which is why it will show up as Bono or Bono. This means it's kind of like monopoly money and the coin currently cannot be swapped for any other currency. Once they launch their full protocol, your Bono will be swapped out for Ono, which you can then swap for real money. In order to get started with claiming and receiving your rewards, you will need to link your account to your crypto wallet. Onacoy is on Solana, so you will need a wallet that works best for that. If you don't have one, you'll have to set it up. I use and the Onacoy doc suggest using Phantom. Here we add our wallet and it takes us through the connection process. Finally, you need to register your stream in the NTRIP credentials tab. A pop-up will confirm you have successfully registered the stream on the blockchain to receive rewards. Important things to note with rewards, after you have connected your station to the Onacoin network, your data stream will first go into the data validation process. This may take up to 36 hours to validate. As soon as your station is validated, you'll start to see bonos accumulate in your account. You can review your current balance in the upper right corner of the console. So that hopefully gives you a rough idea of how to get the SparkFun RTK Mosaic onto networks like Onacoy, a very good program if you're into cryptocurrencies. Uh, and for more information, check out the Onacoy website. They've got some really good documentation. And I hope someday you get to convert your cryptocurrency into beer and enjoy it.